super excited. I just got my first box today from Purple Parrot. I've tried them before at my friend's house and I'm really excited to get my first box. So this is a food box. Um, it's all vegan and plant-based meals. So they send you everything you need for as many meals as you want um, each week. So I'm getting three meals a week. It's uh, two servings per meal. Um, and you can pick which meals you want, which are really cool. Um, I think I picked, there's breakfast, breakfast and lunch. I think I picked, I might have picked the tofu dumplings. I have butternut squash a lot, so I didn't pick that. But we'll see. I'm super excited. I know that I did anything that's tacos. Oh, I picked pumpkin mac and cheese because I thought my 11-year-old would enjoy this. Um, I love that it, it's, it, everything's planned for you. It tells you um, food serving, calorie intake, all that good stuff, and it's all plant-based. I'm just stoked about no food waste, and um, I didn't pick that because I don't like tomato soup. Oh, I know I picked the Brussels sprouts and black bean taco. Anything that's taco, I would pick. Um, sorry if it's loud. So I know it does come in a lot of packaging and plastic, but they do offer um, a recycle box to send stuff that's not recyclable in your area. So bok choy, so excited. Uh, oh, this is for the Brussels sprout and black bean tacos. So they do send these little containers and they're reusable. So that's super cool. And it's just enough of everything that you need to make one meal. When I've had them before, I had portobello mushroom tacos and the flour or the, yeah, flour tortillas were wheat, which was whole wheat, which was nice. Um, oh, this is for the pumpkin mac and cheese. Trying to get things that my 11 year old will eat as well. I don't know if he'll eat the dumplings, but these look super fun. Um, just enough ginger, some garlic. Oh my gosh, the little dumpling wraps are so cute. And how fun you get to make all this stuff yourself. Um, so it's it's helpful if you've never made anything like this. I, I did try to pick, um, you know, I've, I've never made dumplings myself. I do buy them already made, frozen at Trader Joe's. Um, cold packs, and these are neat. You can reuse these. So who doesn't ever need reusable ice packs? Um, so pretty cool. I'm excited. I'll let you know how they turn out. I guess it's not a plant that I'm making, but everything's plant-based. So I figure I would add this to my plants for love story. Hey guys, so I decided that I'm gonna make the tofu dumplings. So it gives you all the ingredients and everything that you um, get in your box and then step-by-step -step directions. So let's get cooking. Okay, so my first step, I rinse the fermented black beans and finely chop. Mince the garlic. I already washed 
these. Now the ginger, two teaspoons. Finally chop the walnuts. Okay, so the tofu. So it says I'm only gonna use half. Just to get all the moisture out. Says to mix with the red miso paste. Mmm. Oh, it says just crumble this. I don't like big chunks of tofu, so I'm gonna crumble it really small. And this tofu will just take up the flavor of everything else that's in here, and it smells so good if there was smell-o-vision. Okay, so I rinse this, it says cut the bok choy in half and leave it. We're gonna kind of pan sear it after. Mm, so good for you. So it says with a cold, cold water filling and dumpling. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So, says to use a tablespoon. Cute little dumpling. It's 
So this is my first time, guys. I've never made dumplings before. And with the step-by-step -step guide here and the pictures, makes it pretty darn easy. Oops, I got a little hole. See what happens to that one when it cooks, how well it does. I will still eat it. Okay, last one, and it looks like I have filling left, so I obviously probably didn't use enough, um, but that's okay, I will use this for something else. I, I won't let it go to waste. Um, the picture actually shows putting them all out and putting them in, so that probably would have been the best if I would have, <laughs> I'm not always the best at following directions, um, and then I could have known how much to put in each one. And it looks like you can kind of squeeze them in to get more filling, but I will not let that go to waste. I will use it for something I know. Maybe in a soup, I don't know. So those are done and now I'm going to steam them. Okay, I got my hot pan. Just gonna add these. Just two to three minutes, then flip, then put a pan and a little bit of water and steam. Time to see. That's good. So here it is, guys. My dumplings. My steaming bok choy. Of course, I'm going to eat extra of that. So delicious. Excited.